Okay, I'm going to show you how to calibrate these inexpensive pH probes uh, that I'm going to use to calibrate the uh, water in my hydroponic system. Uh, this basically comes with uh, some phosphate that when mixed with distilled water will read at 6.86 pH and so put some potassium hydrogen uh, folate I'm saying that correctly, which will mix a pH level at 4.0. But it's important according to the, the directions that apparently were translated from Chinese, and so they're kind of difficult to follow. They were written by a non-English speaker, uh, it would seem. But uh, one of the instructions is that uh, you immerse the electrode, which uh, is this little glass ball here. I'm just going to measure the pH level. You immerse the electrode in the pH 6.86 under a temperature of 25 C, 25 degrees Celsius, which is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, pH level is different uh, depending on the temperature of the water and so uh, this is an important calibration step. You've got to get your your distilled water temperature at 77 degrees uh, because the inex one reason this is inexpensive, I'm assuming, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that it doesn't have uh, the ability to sense the temperature and make adjustments based on the temperature. It's one reason it's less expensive. So you're doing a little bit of the manual process. You're paying a little bit less. Uh, these run about $15 on Amazon.com. So what I have here is I have a uh, thermometer that's normally used in fish tanks. And I have uh, two glasses of distilled water. This sec uh, this doesn't explain it, but uh, from what I have figured out, it says make up 250 milliliters. What that means is mix this with 250 milliliters of water. 250 milliliters of water is roughly one cup of water. So I have one cup of water in each glass here. Uh, my ambient temperature right now is 70 degrees, and so there was no way I was going to get 77 degrees uh, right out of at room temperature. So what I did was I boiled some distilled water in the microwave and then I use this eyedropper to uh, add boiled distilled water until the temperature uh, got to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And so now both of my glasses are at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to uh, mix my phosphate powder with one cup of distilled water. And I've just bought this gallon of distilled water at the grocery store for 99 cents. I also rinsed my electrode with distilled water which is in the instructions and then I blotted it dry with a paper towel so now I'm mixing the potassium hydrogen folate my distilled water. Stir that up until it's completely mixed. Okay, my temperature is still pretty close to 77 degrees. And so, let's read the instructions here. Remove the protective cap. Rinse the electrode with distilled water, which I've already done. Turn it on, which is this little switch here. I turn that on. Immerse the pH electrode in the solution to be tested. Gently stir and wait for a reading to stabilize. After which, switch off the pH. Use distilled water to clean it. Uh, but that's normal use. In the calibration process, uh, you immerse the electrode in the 6.86 first, a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, or 77 degrees Fahrenheit and gently shake the electrode. And as you can see, this arrived pretty close. It's at 6.5. So to make the adjustment, I'm going to turn this knob back here until it adjusts to 6.86.
All right, so now it reads 6.8. I don't know if I should go to 6.9. It doesn't say uh, 6.86 is really closer to 6.9, but I'll leave it at 6.8, I think. And now I'm to rinse it in distilled water. This one hopefully will go to 4.0. And it says 3.9, so I'm going to just make one more adjustment. And it appears that clockwise makes it goes up, counterclockwise turns it down. So now my pH probe is calibrated. Uh, Amazon.com and other places you can buy uh, calibration liquid uh, that comes basically these similar two bases. Uh, you can buy the liquid already mixed. It's about uh, $9 a bottle. I assume that would last you quite a while depending on how much you poured out each time. You're not supposed to reuse the calibration solution. You're supposed to pour it out each time after you use it. Uh, and I've also read that the pH probe should be kept moist after I've, I've used it here. I'm supposed to keep it in uh, probably regular tap water is fine, but I read one place said to put it in uh, pH level 3 liquid for best results. Uh, but you should keep it moist after you've uh, opened it and used it. So that's how to calibrate a pH probe.